Hey guys, tonight's second review is going to be on a fragrance from the house of Atelier Cologne and this one is Cedra in Nivron. So, this one is, is all about summer and spring and it's an uplifting fragrance. It's a fragrance that is quite relaxed. Uh, it's really well made, it's zesty, you know, uplifting, um, all about citrus, all about lime and uh, it's really kind of a great splash on type fragrance with actually quite good performance I like the bottle here, this is the 200ml bottle there you go it's, it's a good bottle, nice leather cap um, good sprayer, really solid uh, 200ml sells for around 150 euros and then there's also 100ml and a 30ml size it's a good variety, you know pretty good prices and Atelier Cologne I have to say when they first came out I didn't I wasn't so keen on some of their fragrances um, but they are a house that has grabbed my attention a little bit more and they have been releasing quite a lot of fragrances more darker ones like oud and um, uh, incense based fragrances and uh, there's got they've got a new like oriental collection um, there's one called like Pravra Electrique or something which sounds quite interesting so they're coming out with some good stuff um, this is the only fragrance I've owned from the house and it's beautiful I've, I wear it every time I go abroad on holidays when it's warm weather I mean to be honest whenever I'm on holiday it's always going to be most of the time I go to warm weather countries and I always take this with me I always take the full bottle actually and I do go through a lot of it um, so let's just get on to the notes for this um, top notes, Moroccan um, Cidra, which is a, it was a citrus actually, um, lime from Mexico, bergamot from Calabria, in the middle of this fragrance, mint from China, they like saying where, the, where, the, where it's from, uh, basilic, maybe is that basil, I'm not sure, from Egypt, uh, juniper berries from Macedonia, in the base, tonka bean from Brazil, vetiver from Haiti, Elemi from the Philippines and I'm Raj from the UK. All right. So, um, what do I get from this fragrance? A lot of notes in there and I, there were, surprisingly actually when I looked them up, more than I thought there would be. It's actually a very, very simple fragrance, really. I don't get a lot of the notes that they're mentioning on, on, on the website. That's the actual Atelier website as well. Really what I get, and I did a spray to kind of just remind me yeah it's it is it is all about this it actually features all the facets of lime really well for me it's all about lime it has that zestiness from the rind it has the juiciness from the from the juice on the inside the flesh once you've taken out all the juices it's like the smell of lime on your skin you've been lying on the beach you maybe get some lime in your hands squeeze it rub it between your hands get the lime um, the zest kind of onto your skin and that is pretty much the fragrance I've got to be honest if you guys are familiar with another one in their line lineup called orange sanguine um, it has elements of that but take away all the pulp from the and from the orange and the juiciness from this orange juice accord and really what you get is a kind of faint uh, orange um, kind of peel kind of the scent when you dig into an orange and that zestiness comes out from the orange mix that in with the lime um, there's a little bit of mintiness going on here to add again to the freshness this is like the freshest fragrance you'll ever ever find um, and that pretty much is the fragrance you know in the in the notes there's like vetiver um, what else is there there's like juniper berries tonka bean not really I mean maybe at times this did remind me a little bit of a uh, girl and um which again maybe from the juniper berries actually kind of creating like this kind of gmt tonic effect with the mint um and maybe a splash of this zesty bergamot as well yeah kind of given that vibe like a kind of cocktail citrus based cocktail really um there's also another fragrance from girl and from the aqua allegoria line which i used to own um it was again a, another lime based fragrance slightly different to this but this is all about zestiness and citrus and freshness and yeah it actually does perform quite well it, it does perform quite well Atelier Cologne have come up with this Cologne Absolute um, thing it's like traditional Cologne style fragrances with a little bit more concentration 
Um, I think on the website it says 15%, so it's pure perfume apparently. So yeah, it does have a good performance, but you know, for these notes, these aren't going to last you like 24 hours. But I definitely can pick them up towards the end of the day, um, which is quite surprising. If you do wear them in, in it, when the sun is out, it's going to burn off your skin a little bit more. But sometimes what I like to do just for a change of pace in the cold weather in the UK, which it, and it's winter now, um, I wear this sometimes to work just to have something a little bit different. You know, I don't always want to be wearing these dark, boozy incense, um, kind of tobacco, rum, all these types of accords. Sometimes I just want something simple. You know, maybe it's a Friday, I'm going into work with my trainers, you know, four or five sprays of this quite liberally, hit up, the, hit up your clothes, get it on the clothes. It works really, really well. Great fragrance from the house, highly recommended. It's quite simple, no fireworks, nothing spectacular going on in here well constructed, good ingredients, fairly good value I think, um, honestly you can't really expect more from this fragrance. Atelier Cologne's Cedra Enivron gets a rating of 8 out of 10, it's good, it's not exceptional, um, I'm very very glad I have this fragrance and I will continue to wear it and it reminds me of holidays, it definitely does, whenever I go to Spain with some of my friends, we're just chilling poolside, we're in a villa, linen shirt, shorts, no shoes, no socks, nothing, and you just got a drink. Oh, it's just, I really wanna go back on holiday actually, I can't wait till summer. Anyway guys, let me know your thoughts on this fragrance. Do you like it? Do you think it's just too simple, a little bit bland? Whatever you have to say, say it. Thanks for watching, take care, bye.